Hi everyone, I'm Theo and this is Rival from the Zero Fret. The Rival is a very simple bass fuzz. It's got three modes. Mode one, clean boost. Mode two, mix of clean and fuzz. And mode three, fuzz only. It's got two control knobs, volume, blend. And the way it works is quite interesting. So the blend control is always the blend. Minimized, it is set all the way to clean. Maximized, it is set all the way to fuzz. But what this means, in mode one, it's just set to clean boost. So there is no fuzz. So you wanna send a blend all the way to clean. If you try and blend it in, there's nothing to blend it with as there is no fuzz. In the third mode, fuzz only, you want to set the blend to maximum all the way to fuzz because if you bring it back, there is no clean signal. So you just get a decrease in volume. In the middle mode, which is the one I use the most as a bass player, it's the mix between the clean signal and the fuzz signal. So you can change the ratio here. And the thing I love about this blend is that it's an active blend. It's a boost if you want it. So you can set your ratio clean to wet and then boost with the volume control. So you can set any ratio, any ratio you want and any volume you want. Now the rival is actually something super interesting. I don't know if you've ever heard about the Baz Fuzz circuit. It's quite a simple bass fuzz circuit that's been around for a very long time. But one of the things with it is like like many fuzz faces, it doesn't like active pickups or like having buffers before it, which means that of, usually it's not something you would consider for a clean blend. Well, Kerry at the Zero Fret has worked a way around that um, with like a pickup emulator, which means that not only does the blend work really well on it, but you can also run active pickups into it. Signal placement isn't an issue because there is circuitry inside the rival that sort of compulate, compensates and emulates the output uh, resistance, whatever, of a passive pickup. So it actually makes it far more versatile than you would get of a normal Baz fuss circuit 
or your sort of fuzz face sort of style pedal. Now in the first instance, I could see how the whole switching with the blend thing could get a bit confusing because effectively the blend is always trying to blend something with something else, but in two of the modes, the something else isn't there. And once you get that into your head, it's actually pretty simple. As I said, for a bass player, I always want some of that clean blend in with this circuit. I just think it sounds more full. Uh, and even though the bass fuzz circuit is, itself is meant to be a bass fuzz, I still think it sounds better with the blend. However, um, where I'm trying to hit a valve amp and I just might need you know, a cheeky little clean boost for something, it's really great that I've got that option. I can switch it to clean boost. And obviously if I'm using it on guitar, I may not want the clean blend as well. So I'll just switch it over to the fuzz circuit. What I've also noticed as well is when you're on the mix setting, even at minimum blend or maximum blend, you've still got some of the characteristics of the other thing you were blending. So it's not 100% clean here and it's not 100% wet there, which is really nice because if you want that 100% wet fuzz, you can just turn it to the fuzz setting. Or if you want 100% clean, you can just turn it to the clean setting. And as I said, this works very well as just clean boost.
you think though? Very simple pedal, really useful, just nice to have around. Um, what did you think of how it sounds? Let me know in the comments. Uh, any questions, give me a shout. I'm sure Kerry might be along to answer questions if you have any. Take care of yourselves. Have a great day. See you next week. Bye.